Hello party peoples! Brand new weekly vlog of what I'm gonna wear this week or this few weeks. Who knows? That's the wonder of it all. Anyway, today I'm up early enough to be able to go and take a walk. So this is what I'm wearing. I pulled out this white dress in the last vlog and uh, figured that it would be perfect to take it out for a, like a test, a test run or take it out for a run is basically what I'm trying to say. And um, really like it. I'm actually really happy that it still fits because I got this last summer and you know i say last summer this summer but you know things happen but it does still fit it does and i picked this up from pull and bear really nice like white dress with a slit i am wearing my tights and the tights in question are these ones there from a company called n color i've also got my gazelle right gazelle 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 adidas trainers that i'm finally gonna be able to wear and kind of like test run them as well just to see if i can walk in them comfortably and then i'm gonna throw on my denim cropped jacket with my thick scarf and my silver bag and that is me for going for a walk nothing crazy i'm just gonna do like a little walk around the neighborhood just to get some air and see what's new around town you know that kind of thing so um, I didn't need to be too fancy, but I definitely wanted to put this dress to good use because it's just so lovely and I feel like, I mentioned this in the last vlog, it's a very warm dress. When I got it, it was spring summer, not the right season for it because it just made me overheat. So I feel like it's going to work quite well in the elements for autumn. So we shall see. Hopefully it does because I really like it and I want to be able to wear it more. Now, what else? Um, I've got on my lip gloss of the day. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is in the colour pretty hot and this was part of their vault collection that they released on their website i've really been enjoying these lip glosses especially the colors i'm just a huge fan of lip gloss lip balms anything that makes my lip glossy that's what i'm a fan of that is me for the day and i'll catch you guys soon hey guys so i am back i had a really nice walk and the weather kicked my butt yeah it rained a lot and it was very windy but in a weird way it was nice and refreshing at least I got some air, so really happy to have gotten the air and be back home. So this is a package that came in from a company called Dolls Kill. They're based in the US, so it's just arrived. I placed the order, I think, a couple of weeks back. But because of Thanksgiving and a few holidays, it kind of took a little bit longer to get here. But it's here now. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got because I'm really quite excited about this. Firstly, check out these earrings. Now these I saw and I just had a vision in my mind of what I wanted to do or how I wanted to style these. Now, I already have a pair of hooped earrings from the Barbie collection that came out at summer and I've been, I have been, or I had been wearing those quite a lot. I've actually put them away just so that, you know, they can last a little bit longer, but I really enjoyed those. And I saw these and I thought, you know what? These are gonna be quite nice for styling and they say dripping. Now, I think they might be a little bit too big for my head. I think so. But if I have really big hair, it's gonna work. It's going to work. So really happy to have gotten these. And then the next thing that I got is actually in this bag. And honestly, I almost didn't get this, but let me show you. So this is a bag, it's a handbag, and that's what it says on there, right? I just thought this looked so cool. I love the fact that it looked like a hazard, like bollard thing, and I thought the caption was very funny. <laughs> so um, yeah, I almost didn't get it because I was like, oh, is this a bit much to wear? But then I saw it on the model and I was like, no, it's just enough. I would have kind of preferred if it didn't have the... Uh, this bit and it was just like flat with little stubs underneath that you could like perch on you know if it was just like there but then i suppose it kind of adds more character with the little feet so yeah it looks really good actually it's got like a glitter effect to it so i'm very happy about this i'm excited and then the next few things are actually clothes so it's probably better if i actually just demo them and put them on so you can see what they're like this is a skirt this is a bodysuit and this is a top so let me let me get them on yeah all right you guys in true london fashion we've got cloudy weather so the lighting has changed and i don't want to put on my lights just yet so we're going to deal with this for the time being um but i'm going to show you guys the stuff that i got so first thing i got was this bodysuit 
it's like the faux leather latex kind of vibe and i love it i absolutely love it the reason that i got it was because i wanted to actually use it for styling purposes like a photo shoot i'm not too sure how i'm going to be able to really kind of like finesse it into my day-to-day -day wardrobe but you never know you never know i actually think i should be able to like wear a black skirt or black leggings with it think that should be fine but i really really love it the sleeve is like giving all the drama and it's reminding me of the lady gaga era when she when she used to wear her really flamboyant bodysuits and i loved it so i really like that and then the skirt is kind of like that dog's tooth print but in a hot pink and lime green format now this was actually part of a cohort and i decided not to get the matching cardigan just because i don't typically wear cohorts together i really don't and I didn't see myself being able to style the top part of it. However, I thought with the skirt I should be able to do something. I thought I might be able to match it with my lime green bodysuit or maybe a black bodysuit or some like a white cardigan. And I still think that's possible. The only thing is I made a mistake with the sizing. I sized up twice to an extra large because with the Dolls Kill website, it's kind of like nasty girl they're kind of their sizing from what i've been familiar with is kind of geared more to the slimmer frame so usually i'm a sl small slash medium but on dolls kill and uh nasty girl and a few other websites i'm like a large slash extra large just because that's how they kind of run their sizes but i wasn't sure with the skirt because i couldn't tell if it was stretchy or not so i decided to size up twice and it's it is it is big it's big i won't say it's too big because i can get away with it it's got the length behind it and because it's long it's not going to ride up at the back so i'll be able to wear it quite comfortably and if i really want to i can just get it tailored if i really want to but i think the large would have fit me perfectly but yeah extra large is just a little bit long for me so i don't know i don't know what i i'm not gonna return it it's just way too long to return it but i'm just gonna see how i'm gonna be able to style it because i really wanted a pop of color i just thought the neon color was so good i might just have to reserve that skirt for actual like springtime i'm not too sure if it's gonna work for autumn but it is there i like the skirt so i got it and then the final thing is this top right here and actually let me stand here again so you can see the thingy this top okay i'll tell you how it all started i was on pinterest and i was looking for inspiration pictures so that i would be able to like put together some outfits for autumn and i came across this one look and i'll try and find the picture to put up there and i was in absolute adoration and determined to recreate the look so when i found this top it reminded me of that top which is why i decided to get it i love this like renaissance renaissance kind of vibe i don't even know if that is actually the time period of the top i have no idea what art <laughs> period this is but i really like how romantic and ethereal it kind of looks you know and it's got all the right colors that i need to kind of re recreate this look so i got this and i'm pa i've paired it with my brown uh faux leather skirt love this skirt and i think these two work so well listen to me when I find the matching shoes or the shoes to go with this top and this skirt, it's gonna be over. No one is gonna be able to talk to me. No one, no one. I actually did find a pair of shoes from Shein with I think the blue that would work for this. So we'll see, I haven't pulled the trigger on that just yet, but we shall see. And that's basically everything that I got from Dolls Kill. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little mini haul breakdown. I am about to clean up, <laughs> maybe take a shower and then take a nap actually because I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired and I know the sun's going to go down any second now. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day and I will catch you guys soon. Today's good morning. I woke up nice and early so I can get my work did. And did I get it did? I got it did done do do you know what i mean i'm so proud of myself i'm also really hungry right now so i'm running off of pure vibes and fumes vibes yeah so i woke up early and did my makeup and i got this burst of energy to kind of recreate drake's um well i don't know what vibe he was going for but basically he just taken out his cornrows 
and I guess they needed the clips in to kind of like lay the waves down and I was like oh I think I can recreate that and the main reason was in TK Maxx yesterday I was able to source these clips and then I already had the pink clips as well so I kind of was like yeah let me just do a little something something and I'm so happy with, it came, with the way that it came out so I have got on a Poseidon bodysuit and I kind of dressed it up like this in the morning to take some pictures and stuff which will be up on my page or my Pinterest somewhere girl but this was the main outfit in the morning so I decided to keep the t-shirt and and keep just put on some black pants now the reason why I like this bodysuit is because it's mesh and you can kind of like layer it on top so usually I wear this with a blazer where I don't want to like where I want to keep the shiny material but I don't want to like just be bare if that makes sense and I did try this outfit on with the blazer but it doesn't really work you know what I'm saying so instead got the trousers got my gazelle uh, trainers and then I've got I tried my leather jacket, didn't like it, and I just put on my other jacket, and I think this one's going to be fine, and I'm going to throw off, throw on my big, chunky knit scarf as well. So I'm on the way to the post office, and my phone is screaming at me, and my battery is screaming at me, so I'm just going to dip right now, but I will catch you guys when I do an outfit change or something to that respect. Hey buddy, all this is so it is Wednesday, and I was just going back from the dentist, so if you can hear that I don't sound, you know, as clear as I usually do is because half my face is numb right now. But anyway, this is what I wore today. I decided that I was going to pull out the purple dress and put it to good use. And I'm so glad I did because I actually quite like this dress in the casual style that I'm wearing it. So I don't know if you guys saw my House of CB um, video where I showcased all of the House of CB dresses that I have. If you haven't, it'll be on my, cha my channel somewhere. But anyway, I had this dress and I've only ever worn it once before and I was arming and ahhing about whether or not I was going to keep it in my collection or get rid of it just because I, I wasn't sh too, like, sure how I was going to wear it, style it, that kind of thing. Anyway, I realized that actually this dress looks better in a casual format than it does up styled. So today I decided to throw on my turtleneck underneath this white one. I did contemplate wearing the black turtleneck and I tried that out but it was kind of making everything look too moody so I decided to go with a white one and I think it kind of like lifts the purple um, because this purple is very very deep so it kind of like lifts everything so you can see the aubergine the gorgeous aubergine color that it is and then I paired it with some matte black tights and I think the whole thing looks really really good I've also got on my black velvet dolly uh shoes that i picked up from zara and i quite like how girly this whole look ended up being i would have paired this with some loafers or some brogues but i'm still waiting for that to come in from zara so i haven't been able to sort of like create an outfit with those shoes obviously but i think this works so this is what i'm wearing and then i did throw on my metallic bag and my black um, hoodie fuzzy uh, jacket but it was way too warm for that jacket so I ended up overheating I think next time if I was to repeat this I'd probably like throw on my trench coat instead because I was quite warm with the turtleneck and the dress and the tights so I didn't need anything that was like really warm like that jacket is so next time I'll probably like throw on a lighter trench coat or something to that effect and yeah I really like this look I really do so I was hoping to be able to show you guys a few things that I picked up however um, they haven't well one of them have arrived or has arrived but the other one hasn't and then I've also got one other thing coming too so I just I'll just wait until they all come in at the same time and then I'll show you guys what I got but yeah that is the look for today I'm off to make some tea <laughs> oh my gosh I literally can't feel my face I'm gonna make some tea and chill out for a little bit and then um, get on with some work so I will see you guys tomorrow or whenever I need to do another styling. All right. Clip. Hi guys. So it's actually later on in the evening and all my packages have arrived. So I figured I might as well just tell you about them. You know what I'm saying? I went to, um, I went on the Zara website during the Black Friday. Sorry, my tooth was just hurting a little bit. Uh, during the Black Friday sale, but there wasn't much that I wanted slash needed. There was lots of really nice stuff, but nothing that was calling me because there was a price difference you know that kind of thing anyway i did see these trousers and these trousers were in the pajama sleepwear section and they're polka dot they looked really nice and kind of my vision for them was they could be lounge wear but they could also transition quite nicely into like a light evening wear maybe with a nice t-shirt or with a nice shirt or a blouse or maybe even a corset that was kind of my thinking so i picked them up in a size small and it is a squeeze to get them on. You can probably see from the clip that it's actually like 
squeezing me a little bit in the hips and the bum area. I mean, it fits, but it's a squeeze, right? So now I'm thinking, I'll have to check the website if they've even got any more stock. But if they do, I'm thinking maybe to size up and get the medium. Because I like how flowy they are. And I like kind of like the vibe of them. But I'd, I'd want to wear them when they'd be a little bit more comfortable. Is basically where I'm at. So I don't know. Hopefully I can get these in a size medium. That's what I'm hoping. If not, I'm not mad at the size small. I'm not completely mad at this fit. But I just don't love it. So I... Just looking at myself in the mirror. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'll keep them in the small because they are, you know, tight. And I don't know if I'd wear them often because they're a little bit uncomfortable. But I don't know. We'll see. The next thing that I got from Zara was actually still full price. Um, sorry, not still. It was full price. It wasn't marked down. The trousers were marked down. I think they were like £12 or something. But I got some loafers. And I've been wanting loafers ever since I picked up some new buck ones from boohoo but i returned those because i just kind of felt like i could do better you know what i mean so anyway i saw these from zara and initially when i saw them i saw them in store but they only had a size four and it was too big so these are a size three and they're still a tad too big they're still a tad too big but i think with the right pair of socks maybe insoles i should be able to take care of that and i just think they look really nice i love the chocolate brown i realized i don't have much brown in my wardrobe and i feel like that's going to be a really nice color for autumn so i figured it would probably make sense to get them in a shoe format so this is this is nice i like the gold detailing and i also like the tassel detailing as well they give just enough like presence and va va voom for the kind of looks that i want to be able to create with them so really happy about these uh actually no that's pretty much it i thought i had one more thing but that's it so i'm gonna go and do some stuff i guess <laughs> Uh, live my life and then I'll catch you guys when it's time to do another outfit Hello party people. So it is Thursday and I thought I'd check in and show you guys what I'm wearing for today So I've got on my black flared stretchy Trousers I picked these up in summertime actually and forgot all about them But of course I've just hung up all my trousers and my leggings So I was able to actually see them and I decided to pair them with I've got my grey t-shirt underneath that I was wearing the other day and then I threw on this hoodie that was from the Fenty fashion line. I, I spoke about this in my last vlog slash what I wore this week. My cat's trying to get out of the room. But yeah, it's been a very chilled, cozy day. Honestly, I needed a day off because I feel like daylight savings time has really been kicking my butt. Like, really been kicking my butt. So I just needed a day to kind of like relax and everything else. Luckily, it's still a little bit sunny outside. Um... Which has been nice because I'm trying to get more sunlight, you know, go out in the elements, get some fresh air and do all the things. But yo, when it gets to autumn winter time, okay, and I cannot stress enough how important it is to look after yourself when it gets to autumn winter time, okay. And yeah, so I've kind of just been chilling at the house pretty much and this is what I decided to throw on. I really, really love this jumper. I put it on and remembered how much I enjoyed wearing it. It was much more vibrant than this when I first got it, but I wore it so much. I used to literally travel in this hoodie um, back in the day and I just really love it. So I'm glad that I kept it because there was a time when I thought that I was going to throw it away or pass it on, but I'm glad that I kept it. Now I still need to kind of take it back to the dry cleaners because it's uh, showing where it's still been worn, you know what I mean? But for the meantime, in between time, I really like it. And I also like the cutouts sort of at the side of the waist hip area kind of helps create some extra shape is you no know, it's like very unique you don't usually see that in hoodies actually let me put up a picture of what it was initially styled as and in the original look it came with matching leather trousers that were also flared and they were a similar color to this i didn't get the flared trousers because i just didn't know what size i would be and i didn't want to have to do the whole like return thing magic you know but that was a vibe that was surely a vibe but i'm really glad that i got the hoodie so Plan for today for me is literally to just chill out some more. I'm gonna sit down, lay down more like. What's the Mewtwo most likely? And then I'll catch you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a fun, loved day. Loving, fun, fun, loving day. Okay? All right, see you guys. Hey, party people. So it is Saturday afternoon and I'm here 
kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to wear for this evening because this evening I'm going to see the Beyonce film and I think I know what I want to wear in terms of the dress because I kind of like already talked about it before but I had this like burst of energy to try out different outfits just in case and then my Savage X Fenty order also arrived so I'd, I was mid trying them on when I realized I should actually be showing you guys so the first thing that I've got on are these leggings from Savage X Fenty and oh they look so good so they are in the dog tooth print but they are in this like metallic silver and beige color so pretty so my initial thinking when I saw them on the website was that they were silver so my thinking was, oh, it's silver leggings. I should be able to wear them for autumn, winter. You know, if I want to see the film again, or even if I just want to go out, that kind of thing. But now I have them in real life. They're actually more on the beige silver side, which actually works because, you know, I can still make use of them, of course. But I can also make them look a little bit more formal. You know what I mean? So I've thrown on this turtleneck that you would have seen that I got from Boohoo. And then I threw on my trench coats and my bl my black <laughs> my silver metallic bag and it is a serve so cute so cute i love these leggings i got these in a size medium and when i tell you they snatch you snatch the thing about savage x fenty's like um line of like sportswear when you first get it it feels super tight but then after a while it kind of like molds to your proportions and then you know it's gonna be a much more comfortable fit but girl these snatch you at the waist when i say snatch i mean snatched okay super snatched so i'm actually really happy i've got these so i'm gonna show you some of the other outfit options that i basically put together and um y'all can discuss with me afterwards in the comments but at least I'll, I'll have shown you so let me show you okay so okay okay now these couple of outfits are wild cards, okay? I wasn't even too sure if they were gonna work. I just wanted to try some things out. Now, when Beyonce did the premiere of the film in LA, she had the chrome carpet. And I think it was Chloe Bailey, or one of the ladies, somebody had a purple dress on. And I was like, oh, I never considered purple. And I think purple and silver work really well. So it got me thinking about what I would wear in my wardrobe that's like purple infused or purple color. Now I do have some purple dresses, but I just didn't feel like they kind of did what I wanted them to do. So instead I pulled out this fuchsia purple velvet corset that I have. And that one I got from Savage X Fenty. I love that corset so much because of the drop waist. And at first I tried it on with a skirt, with a black skirt, but I don't think I love it with a black skirt just because it's got the drop waist, so it's not really creating the right proportions. So instead, okay, I decided to pair it with these velvet trousers that I also got from Savage X Fenty. I picked these up and the leggings that I showed you guys earlier um, during their Black Friday sale. And I got these particular like velvet ones from the men's side, so I got a medium but I probably should have gotten a small because they are a little bit too big. They're a little bit too big. And honestly, if they fit properly, it would have been so nice with the corset. Now, I don't think I actually would have pulled the trigger with this look. I don't know, not for, not for today, not for how I'm feeling today, but I do think it looks nice. You know what I mean? I had to throw on the mesh turtleneck because it's really cold today and I'm gonna need layers. So I think it still works with the mesh turtleneck. Probably would have preferred like skin open and everything else, but if the trousers fit properly, like this would be such a serve. So I'm considering whether or not I should return these or just get them altered because I like the flowiness of them. It's just they're a little bit big around the waist. But anyway, so that was the option there. I'm not going to wear that. But I also thought it would look quite nice with something else that was kind of like velvet or velveteen. And I pulled out this blazer and this was from the Naomi Campbell and PLT collaboration. I think this is giving power, giving boss, giving 80s chic, you know what I mean? I also um, got like this big silver bag that I have randomly lying around and what a serve, you know what I mean? You see how good it looks, the velvet and the black and the purple with silver? I think you could totally rock this color combination if you're going to watch the film, especially if you have the Jacquemus bag, the silver rolled one. Ooh, if you've got that clutch bag, my gosh would you serve anyway yeah so that's the outfit that i got on right now and it is cute to be honest if i was gonna wear these velvet trousers with anything it'd be this bla blazer look because i think this is just superb I'd probably do something else with the hair this is not the hair that i'm gonna wear tonight i probably need like big hair because we've got the big shoulder pads i'd need earrings and things like that but this 
I don't think it's too bad. I actually think it's quite nice. Now I've got one more outfit in mind. So I'm going to try that just to show you guys. Um, and then I'm going to maybe, do I have to start getting ready soon? Nah, I'm just going to go and relax and stuff. So let me put on the final outfit, y'all. Not me changing my mind about what I want to wear. Like not me on the day of having second thoughts and possibly changing what I'm going to wear. So anyway, this outfit is the metallic skirt that I picked up from Boohoo. This is more of the charcoal, molten, silver-esque vibe that we're going for here. Still echoing the whole chrome silver effect for sure with the whole melted metals kind of thing. I love this skirt. Like, it's one of the best purchases that I made this year. But I also had this top that I got from Savage X Fenty months ago, maybe even last year. And I thought, oh, this would be a good thing to kind of like combine with the skirt because they're very similar colors almost exact actually the only thing is that this is very sheer so i decided to obviously keep the mesh um turtleneck on add a necklace and then boom there you go so at first i tried it on just the turtleneck with the skirt and the blazer and honestly that's what started to like change my mind because that looks so good i was like Maybe I want to wear this instead. Now, I'm going to keep on these like mini kitten heels. They're not kitten, they're a little bit higher than that. Um, because it is cold, so I'll switch out to my heels when I get closer to the place. But I might actually also have to wear tights because it is cold. But we'll see about that. So anyway, this was, I was like, I'm really feeling this. Like, I love it. But because my <laughs> nips will be a little bit exposed, I will have to wear like some nipple coverings. Anyway, hence, obviously, threw this on top. And I quite like this as well. Like, I like the monochrome situation that's going on. I really enjoy it, you guys. It really got me thinking now, like, whether or not I should wear my other outfit. But I will show you guys what the other outfit is, just so I can see if I can, like, solidify it in my head. But anyway, then I decided to throw on the blazer on top of this to see how that looks. And I really love it. I really love it. It's giving chic... Is giving renaissance it's giving silver but in a very demure older mature way you know what i mean kind of i just i really like it formal if you will um so that looks really good and i've got my like diamante bag as well because i feel like i really want to wear that one out i love how it sparkles in the light so there is that and then i have also tried on my trench coat and i was going to wear this trench coat anyway because again it's cold and it works too i don't know if like it's my first choice i feel like the blazer is really like getting me but it works as well, so I don't know. I might wear this outfit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let me put on the dress that I was actually thinking that I was going to wear. And then at least you guys have seen it. <laughs> at least you guys have seen everything. And then I can try and figure it out for myself. All right. Yeah. First of all, you guys will have to excuse the wig because this isn't the official one. But I needed to throw something on for this video. Now, yeah, I'm going back and forth about what I'm going to wear. So this dress I initially got literally specifically to be able to wear for this event i tried it on in one of my haul videos i think it was one where i just kind of like did all my recent purchases and how i style them and i picked this up from um asos but I th it was bershka through asos lovely dress really really enjoy it the only thing is once again it's really cold today so i'm gonna have to wear something underneath my initial plan was to be able to go bare but it is too chilly for that okay so i have to wear something underneath now when i tried it with the black turtleneck it was okay but it wasn't really connecting and also i think the hair is throwing things off for me because with really light hair like this when you've got like darker contrasting colors they don't always work like beyonce's just recently dyed her hair like that icy blonde that color would have worked with the black and the silver but this is too warm for those colors so i tried on a different bodysuit so i tried on not bodysuit sorry turtleneck which is the gold one that i picked up from shein a few months back and i actually quite like this vibe i do because i've thrown on my trench coat as well just to kind of see how everything coordinates together and also the good thing about this look is that I get to wear my boots, so I'm wearing my white um, little heeled boots that I got from Stradivarius, and these I can actually walk in. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards this outfit. Now it does look much better with the gold-ish like mesh turtleneck situation underneath, but then I tried on this white one and I was like, I think I like the white one. Now the white one is definitely giving me bridal, right? It's giving wedding. But at the same time, I kind of like that because, I mean, if you're going to do it, do it. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to go off, go off. So now I'm in like, 
10 mines i have no idea because i really liked the gray outfit the chrome molted melted mo melted metal mold melted metal look with the skirt and the top i really like that with the blazer like i really like that but i also really like this dress and i want to be able to wear it because i feel like if there's any event that i'm going to wear it to it's this you know so anyway that's where i'm at confused confused so by the time I check back in to show you guys the final look, I'm sure it will be a little bit darker. So I don't know what the light situation is going to say, but I'm going to do what I can for you guys, okay? Just so you guys can see the fit for sure. So I'm going to go and think about it. I probably need to eat and just have some water or something. And then the answers will come to me. So I'll catch you guys shortly. Hi, everyone. Hello. How have you been? How have you been? It's been a while since you last saw me, okay? So it doesn't even matter what day it is, honestly. It's just been a good few days. The last time you saw me, I was trying on clothes for um, the screening of the Beyonce film, which I went to see on the first day. I decided to wear the silver dress with the gold turtleneck underneath. So I'll just pop up some pictures here because I actually didn't get time before leaving the house to do a little like cutaway to show you guys what I was actually gonna wear. But I had a blast. I had a blast. Bounce on an ass, bounce on an ass. Bend me quicker than I need my. To be honest, I might go watch it again. And then maybe again after that. I don't know, we'll see. Um, it was a really good film. So if you get a chance to watch it, I don't even know if by the time you see this, it's already done. But hopefully you watched it and you enjoyed it as well. So that's what I wore to the Beyonce film. And then immediately the next day, I went to watch Wish, which is a new Disney movie that's out. I loved that film. It was so, so, so good. I'm looking over there because I got a goodie bag. So I actually want to show you guys a goodie bag in a second. But I decided to wear my sparkly uh, midi length dress that I got from Zara. Again, I didn't have time to kind of film a cutaway because it was really early in the morning and I'm not a morning person, so I didn't get a chance to film. But I basically wore this, which is the Zara midi length sequin dress. You know, the film is called Wish. So I thought, you know what? Let me just do a little sparkle sparkle or something and then i actually threw on this um jumper on top and i liked those two together and then i wore my trench coat as well with my white air forces and the film was so good i actually really loved it it's been a long time since i've been in the theaters like the film the movie theater to watch a disney film and it just brought back all the feels and actually at the, the event that i went to had mickey mouse and minnie mouse and I was just so excited. I had no idea why I was that excited, but I was. And I absolutely loved it. So the film is A1. I'm actually going to go and get the bag, the goodie bags, just so I can show you. So the goodie bag actually came with a bunch of stuff on the inside, which I have passed on. But I just wanted to show you guys how cute this is. Look at the main character. Her name is Asha. And she's basically trying to save her town by getting them to all make a wish and take their wishes back basically long story short um and it's an awesome film so yeah i really like the goodie bag and then they have this at the back so cute oh my gosh why am i going to cherish that like for the rest of my life because i am because i am so now today it is girl it's Mon monday it's monday it's monday and i went to get my wax and this is what i wore so i wore my uh plaid skirt that i got from boohoo a while back I've been really enjoying styling the skirt actually. So this is like the third or fourth time that I've actually worn it out. Then I've got my tights on. These are from a company called Platino. They are 40 deniers, so they're really thick and warm and all the good stuff. I actually decided to wear my brown loafers that I got from Zara and I had to break them in. Even though they're a size three, they're actually a little bit big. I think they're a wide fit and my feet are a little bit more narrow, so I'm gonna have to get insoles for them. I did wear thicker socks to kind of like help with the room, but I was still kind of sliding out of them, so I definitely need insoles. And I was actually breaking them into them too, so that's why I wore the tights, and there's a little bit of rubbing on my feet right now, but nothing crazy. So there, I, I wore those, and I feel like it kind of echoed the whole kind of like formal look, you know, formal casual look, because I threw this on on top because it goes with everything, and I quite like, the colors against the plaid or this kind of color against the plaid do you know what i mean i did that and then i also threw over my trench coat because it's thin enough that i can layer it up all the good things got my thick chunky scarf and then also my silk ish satin you know bag that i wear all the time recently so that was what i looked like for today now 
I have got a surprise for you guys. Or really, it's a surprise for me. <laughs> We're doing an unboxing. We are going to do an unboxing because I picked up some items from H&M. Now, technically, I picked them up from the H&M and Paco Rabanne collab. And I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on this because I ummed and odd for so long. By the time I made up my mind to get these pieces, I was so sure that they were going to be out of stock. I was so sure. But luckily, I went back onto the page and they were still in stock. So I'm very excited for these couple of pieces right now. We will get into those. I'm actually gonna go open this piece very, very quickly and I'll show you what this is. It's the new Kaoli fragrance and this one is called um, Eden Sparkly Lychee 39. It just has such a pretty, pretty bottle that I really felt like I had to pick it up regardless because the bottle is fantastic. And obviously Kaoli does a really good job with their presentation, but let's go ahead and smell. Yep. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let me open the H&M box, okay? All right, so let me just show you the actual presentation of it because that might be important for any of you guys who are still looking to shop the collection, if it's still available. So this is the H&M bag that um, the items came in and then the inside looks like this. Um, I have had better presentation in the past, if I'm honest, from different retailers, but I'm actually not really being picky about it, so it is what it is. Now, you can probably tell from the colors, but I ended up picking the knit pieces from the Paco Rabanne collection. Now, I know this collection was all about the sequins, and trust me, in my heart, I really wanted them, especially the silver dress. Everybody I saw that silver dress on looked phenomenal, and even the gold skirt with the top, everybody looked phenomenal. I could not bring it to into myself or to myself to spend that amount of money on a dress that I knew that I would probably get one wear out of one if that if that that's just me so you know i chose not to get it i'm hoping that maybe in the future uh they can put it on the h&m renting scheme so basically h&m have this scheme where you can go and rent some of the dresses that are like really luxury and high-end on the h&m side of things and you know that's good because sometimes you just need a dress for a day or for an event or whatever you don't necessarily need it in your collection so hopefully that will make its way over to that side and then when i need the dress or i want to wear i can just rent it for the day so that's kind of where i netted off at but these pieces that i've got here i really wanted to be a part of my collection so the first one is this little crop top right here that is, I forget what this material is called. I'll read the thing in a second, but look at the jewels. Look at the jewels. I went back and forth about whether or not I should get this. The label also is very big. I might have to actually just cut that off because it's a very big label, but you can see it's H&M and Raban. Sorry, not Paco Raban. They dropped the Paco, but it's Raban now. Um, this was quite pricey. This was 75 pounds or something, if I remember the price tag. Sound like it. I think one of these was 75 and the other one was more than that, but you know, I'll put it up here somewhere. And I got this in a size small. I really hope that this is the right size. Um, oh yeah, this is mohair uh, material, which I actually don't know what that is. So, you know, that's what that is. But I saw this, the reason that I was even pushed to picking it up is I saw it on Jackie Aino. Jackie Aino wore it in like one of her shorts on Instagram reels shorts whatever and i was like oh i gotta get it now it looks so good on her the thing is about this collection majority of people that i saw kind of talk about it were all wearing the sequin stuff and i hadn't seen too many people actually even wear this so i wasn't too sure but when i saw this on her i was like yeah i was influenced i'm gonna get it so oh 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 okay don't worry i will try it on for you guys should i do it today or another day i don't know let's see i'm gonna put that to the side and then i got the matching cardigan there was also a hat and there was also a scarf to go with the whole thing okay now i'm not saying that i won't get those things but i just wanted to start off with these first and then we can take it from there all right so here is the cardigan Ooh! went back and forth about whether or not I should have gotten this in the medium or the small. I have a habit with my cardigans and my jumpers and my sweatshirts, I have a habit of oversizing them, going size up, because I just like that slouchy fit, you know, like I'm not trying too hard and I feel like I can always like adjust it, but I felt like with this, it needed to fit. It wasn't about 
making it slouchy you know what i mean it was about just making it fit you know so that's why i got the small that's why and it's just so cute it's just so cute right the girls that i have been seeing this with or that i've seen you know with this since then um the majority of them have styled this with jeans jeans trousers and i bet that would obviously it's a vibe right it is a vibe I'm not a jeans girl, you guys know this. You guys know I'm not a jeans girl, I'm not. That's not what I do. So for me, I feel like maybe a skirt like this would do. Actually, I think like this skirt would work. This skirt would work. So, that's my bathroom door. So in that case, let me just go ahead and actually like try it on so you can see what it looks like with this skirt. And then I'm sure I'll be able to style it in a myriad of other ways in due time. How cute is this set? How cute is it it's so cute okay let's start off with the top so like i mentioned i got both of these in a small but the top first and foremost works exactly right as a small this is one i don't think that you would need to size up okay like just get your size okay maybe if you've got bigger boobs you might need to size up but i think it's fine i think you'll just get cleavage if you've got bigger boobs but stick to your size it fits really well i wasn't too sure about this neckline at first but now that I actually have it on, I think it's quite flattering. And of course, the detail is really, really pretty. It's also sewn quite nicely. Nothing looks like it's going to like, you know, fall down or wear off or anything like that. So I'm grateful for that. And the material feels, <laughs> it feels, it feels like the real thing. This is definitely one that's going to have to be dry cleaned. So just bear that in mind. Um, it also, the crop top that is, stops maybe about an inch before my belly button so it is definitely cropped so if you want to wear this out and you're like in london or somewhere where it's cold anything high-waisted would probably do you do you know what i mean but maybe i was gonna say maybe you can wear this in springtime but springtime is probably gonna get quite warm i don't know it's up to you wear whatever you want whenever you want that kind of thing but this is a gorgeous top i'm so happy i got it and i feel like i can probably pair this top with maybe a denim jacket or a leather jacket and something else that I'm both like, I just like it. Oh, maybe with a leather skirt as well. Huh, a black leather skirt. Yeah, yeah. And then next let's talk about the cardigan. Cause the one thing I knew for sure was that I was definitely gonna get one of these pieces. Now I wasn't sure I was gonna get both, but I knew I was gonna get one and it definitely for me was more likely to be the cardigan than the top. But I saw them together on Jackie Iron and I was like, let me just get both. Anyway, cardigan is so cute so cute if this was too pricey for you i think you could probably if you had to choose one because of budget the cardigan the cardigan is the way to go i'm happy i got this in the small which is my size it's a nice fit on the arms nothing too tight and also it's long enough like you can see it covers up like it goes up to like up my palms basically which i really like in cardigans i hate when they're short you know and it feels like air will get in them so they've done this really nicely like they've made it really well at least for my proportions so i would suggest that you get this in your size i don't think you should need to size up or anything to get a certain type of look just get your size in both of them and you're good to go obviously i paired it with a skirt that i was wearing today and i've just kind of like rolled the skirt up because i didn't like how high-waisted it looked you know by itself so just ignore that but look how it looks with the pink just oh, it's such a vibe it looks so cute ah! this will be such a cute like office outfit or like christmas office outfit i have thrown on my heels as well just to kind of like add to the vibe but yeah if this is still available go get it um i think it would also be quite nice for christmas like christmas dinner and things like that because like i said the girls that i saw style this were wearing it with jeans so this would be like a casual dressed up christmas thing if you had both of this with jeans you know what i mean or just nice trousers generally <sighs> this is giving me all the feels i'm really really happy that i got this at first i was like this is really pricey but i'm just happy to actually have this in this capacity and it feels so good it's a little like it's a little itchy, but nothing crazy, nothing crazy at all. So yeah, I just, I can't stop like touching myself because it feels so good. I really like it. All right, really happy about this, you know, really, really happy. I don't even know if I'm gonna take this off. If I'm honest with you, cute. So anyway, that's me for today. I'm gonna change. Actually, I'm gonna take a shower, change, then probably eat and sleep. So, 
I will see you, probably not tomorrow if I'm honest with you, but I will see you again shortly. And then we'll see what I'm wearing for that day. Bye. Hi party peoples. It is Wednesday and I woke up nice and early to do lots of work. I'm currently in Christmas attire because I'm filming some Christmas content or oh, I have come from filming some Christmas content. And honestly, by the time you guys see this vlog, I don't know if Christmas would have passed already i'm not sure because my timetable table on here is not actually as concrete as i would like it to be however either way happy holidays hopefully you guys are enjoying this season and hopefully you're getting the best out of it you know what i mean and you're being loved and you're loving up on other people and all the good stuff so i wanted to show you guys an order that's just come in um because i did some late night shopping yesterday out of just like sheer needing things of course why else would you shop the first thing i got now this shop was actually from or this orders from boohoo i'm going to show you the first thing okay yeah 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 it's a pleated faux leather skirts yeah so i picked this up in a size 12 ideally i would have gotten this in a size 10 because with pleated skirts like this that have the zipper and they go up the 10 fits better on my waist and then it's long enough usually to cover my hips and bum but i like it so this fits well of course it's a little bit on the big side I, again i would have preferred a 10 but it fits and it fits really really well and it's also quite long <laughs> so i definitely don't have to worry about anything rising up or just exposing too much of myself so this is what it looks like um i'm really happy with it again the fit is really good and I like this little section here, which kind of like does a good job of sort of flattening the stomach. Um, I also paired it with this obviously because I just come from filming my Christmas content and I think it goes really well. It's like a cute little outfit for a um, dinner day or Christmas dinner. I did pair it with my um, red tights because that's kind of what I'm styling at the moment and I think it works quite well actually. I did do another reel on my channel where I showed like, um, they were more burgundy fuchsia red pink than they were red red, but I was styling different color tights basically. So check out my shorts if you wanna see different color tights. But I think it works well and actually I'm really excited to pair this with the H&M um, combo that you know this i got in the last vlog and i think these will work really well together i think they will and then the second off. thing was one that i went back and forth back and forth back and forth about because as much as i love coats and jackets obviously for the cold weather my storage solution doesn't really permit me to have too many coats and jackets just because obviously they're bigger and i don't have as much space to fit them so i wanted a white trench coat for a styling opportunity that i have and saw some really really nice thick ones of course like they're all so beautiful but again i couldn't get a super thick one just because i knew i wouldn't be able to store it properly anyway i saw this one on boohoo again and it was a little bit thinner i'm not sure what this material is it almost looks like it's linen but i'm sure it's polyester or something but it's very thin which is good because for me that means i can fold this up and put it away when i need to instead of having it take up too much space in my wardrobe or even like i can hang it up because it's very thin and it won't take up too much space so i'm really happy about that now when i got it um i wanted it because it was white but i thought it was more of a cream white i didn't realize it was a white white this is like a white white so i'm like hmm that's different from me i kind of was wanting a more cream effect for the look that i'm going for but i'm not mad at it it also has some um sleeve detail as well and it's nice it's a nice one it's a really really nice jacket i think i will keep it because i like the thinness of it especially i think i'm gonna be able it's actually quite warm like when i threw this on top of this i felt myself like getting really warm so i think it's gonna do what it needs to for this season for autumn winter but I was thinking, I'm like, this might eat during summer and spring. Do you know what I mean? Like, this might actually really eat. Especially with my white satin slip dress. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I think those two might go really well together. So, I think I will keep this. And, yeah, this is what it looks like, as you can see. It does need a steam. It does need to be ironed and steamed out. So, the wrinkles can obviously smooth out and stuff before I actually... Um, start taking pictures in it and wear it out of course but overall I'm actually really happy with it so 
I have got a little bit more work to do. As you can see, I'm very festively made up with my red lip. So I'm gonna go and finish that off because I'm also going out this evening with a few friends. Nothing crazy, we're just gonna meet up in Oxford Circus and do a little um, browsing. So Flannels, which is a store here in London, it's like a de department store, luxury department store. They've opened up a pop-up in collaboration with renaissance from beyonce so me and a, f a couple of friends are gonna go and see it basically so that's what i'm doing this evening um and actually i've got an appointment i need to go back to the dentist so i will hop back on to show you guys what i'm wearing for this evening and then yeah you'll see me again soon hey party peoples so i'm getting ready to go out and this is what i'm wearing so I changed my mind last minute. I was going to wear my metallic long skirt, but had a change of heart and decided to wear the leather skirt that I just got from Boohoo. So this is the fit. I've got on my black turtleneck top that I picked up. I'm not too sure. It was probably somewhere like H&M years ago, right? It's just a staple piece. And then I've got on my cropped leather jacket as well because I knew I wanted to wear these two together and something about autumn just gives black turtleneck and leather you know what I mean but I figured it would be a perfect time to do an all leather look because I had the skirt and then I've got on tights from this is a company called N Color and they specialize in skin tone tights so I've got those tights on and I didn't realize that I actually got a rip in them but they're so like sheer and skin like I didn't even see it like it's only because the light hit a certain way that I saw it anyway I'm not taking them off because I don't actually think it's that visible but that's what that is now I've thrown on my cap because I might I might wear the cap but it's not in the cutaway I just kind of saw the cap and thought I'd throw it on I did go back and forth with the shoe options though because I kind of was I know I'm going to be doing some walking today so I was thinking maybe to go with trainers so I tried on my gazelles from adidas and like I mentioned in my video where I got those trainers, the black there isn't black black, it's like navy black. So it kind of just stood out a little bit differently from the outfit. Not sure if you guys saw it on camera, but in real life you can kind of see the difference. So then I thought, okay, let me try on my Black Air Forces, the Tiffany collaboration. And those looked good, I can't lie. I actually did like that option, especially the little pop of colour in the shoes. I really liked it against the all black, but... But... I thought, okay, that looks very sporty, but let me just see what it's gonna look like with the little flats. And then I put on the flats and I kind of fell in love with it with the flats because I just think it looks adorable. It looks adorable with the flats. So that's basically what I'm wearing. And I do have my bag. This is my satin bag. I'm actually going to get a big bag because now again, we're in autumn. So I just kind of want to be able to carry more things in my bag, you know? So I'm on the hunt for a really nice big bag. I might be able to get one today. I actually will get one today. So there's that and then like I mentioned I just threw on the cap on right now because I don't know maybe it's a cap kind of day I'm not too sure but this is the fit so I'm going to end the vlog here If I have any footage that I take from the pop-up I will add it sort of after this section But hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing what I've been wearing Hopefully this once again has inspired you to go into your wardrobe and just create, create, create from your heart, create and be expressive with what you have or maybe things that you want to get but hopefully it did resonate and you feel it and you're having a really good holiday season so we can bring in a really awesome 2024 you know what i'm saying yeah anyway hope you guys are doing well lots of love and i'll catch you in my next one
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 